A park outside Washington is bustling as old military vehicles roll around. More than 50 Jeeps and trucks that served during World War II, the Korean and Vietnam Wars, and as recently as the 1980s, gathered here. It's known as a weapons carrier. We bought the vehicle as a derelict out of a junkyard and then restored it. It's a Korean War vehicle, 1953. I'm honoring my father, who was a Korean War vet. He was a combat engineer. This is a 1941 Packard, set up as a staff car, as they used in World War II in the Navy. Military vehicle collectors came across the country for an anniversary convoy. We are retracing the 1920 U.S. Army Transcontinental Motor Convoy that actually departed from Washington, D.C. and traveled through the southern states to San Diego. Behind the wheel, members of the Military Vehicle Preservation Association, a nonprofit group dedicated to support collectors, historians, and preservationists. Many are veterans. The members are uh, 8,000 worldwide. Uh, we, we are truly an international organization with membership all over the world. Michael O'Sullivan is from Australia. This is a 1941 half-track. It uh, was used in World War II. This is the only armored vehicle on the, on the convoy. So an armored vehicle uh, to be driven across America is quite unique. It's easy to get used military vehicles at a relatively low cost. They can buy military vehicles from the government surplus, uh, ironplanet.com, go there, or watch for uh, military vehicle sales online, uh, many vehicles. But the maintenance can be pricey. They're not exactly cheap, but once you get them up in good shape, they're pretty simple. The big thing is, is to run them on a regular basis. It's all there. The vehicles are ready to embark on a 5,400 kilometer journey. The 1920 convoy took 116 days. Our convoy will take 29 days. The convoy executive officer hopes all the vehicles will reach their destination safely and along the way raise awareness of the service and sacrifice of veterans of all generations. For producer June So, Amy Katz, VOA News.